So when you're in a hotel room, what is happening that your half your brain is not really sleeping? Yeah, so there's different stages of sleep. There are two principal types. One is non-rapid eye movement sleep or non-REM sleep. The other is REM sleep, uh, which is also known as dream sleep. Right. Um, and non-rapid eye movement sleep is further divided into four separate stages. Um, which are unimaginatively called stages one through four. <laughs> We're a creative bunch. As, it's easy as to remember. Researchers. It is true, uh, but I think it's also our low IQ. But it's the deep stages of sleep, three and four of that non-rapid eye movement. That's where a lot of sort of body replenishment takes place, great mm. for the cardiovascular system, metabolism, all of those good things. But that's the deep sleep that one half of your brain will resist going into when you're sleeping in a foreign environment. So it stays in this kind of lighter stage, almost like a threat detection system. Right. Um, and you can imagine why, you know, it's an unusual yeah. context. Evolutionarily, it would make a lot of sense to just have that sort of on guard one half of the brain. That um, makes so much sense. And that, that, that really, for me, it fills in the blanks of like why, even if I get, you know, seven, eight hour sleep on the road, I'm still kind of just out of it.